Hey everybody, I'm The Maple Man. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to part 48 of my 26th generation Sims 4 gameplay challenge. In the last part, we focused on Noah, who just recently became a teenager, kind of a funny looking guy. Well, kind of a funny guy all around because he does want to be a comedian. So we focused on that. He started his comedy routines, didn't quite go so well, um, but he also did meet quite a few girls. Uh, he went out with his sister. I forgot it was winter and she nearly froze to death, but hey, we got past that. We moved on. She's okay. <laughs> so that's where we left it off. In this part, I do want to try to focus on the teenagers again, Fiona and Noah, and see where their stories develop because at some point we're going to have to decide which of the three kids I did say Fiona and Noah, Enrique's still a child, um, which of the three kids are gonna carry on the family. So, gonna try to focus on them in this part and just see where it goes. So thanks everybody for watching, I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, questions, or anything you'd like to say, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I do read comments, and when I can, I do try to reply. Thanks again, everybody. I think that's enough said from me. Peace and love, let's play. So I thought I'd start here with this wonderful view of Jonah. Um, yeah, I just liked it. I thought he looked really like, you know, he's becoming an older man. He's not a young adult anymore. He has this distinguished look on his face, even though, you know, I think he likes his younger looking clothes. I can kind of relate. And that's a-okay, no problem with that. I was, uh, I haven't played that far ahead. We're just the next day from the last part. I wanted to play actually a few days ahead, get some stuff on the go. And I was hoping that by the end of this part, uh, we'd age up Enrique to a teenager, but I don't think that's gonna happen in this part, but that's okay. The only reason I stopped it is because we got the notice that it's gonna be Argentina's birthday. So whenever we get the notice, we do the birthday. It's Saturday, it's five o'clock. I do have plans for Saturday night too uh, for the kids. So I need to put Jonah to work. He is in AOK -okay State. He needs to bake a birthday cake for Argentina. Okay, quit standing around board or fine. Let's make a nice birthday cake for your wife. Oh, uh, where's the strawberry cake? I think that would be nice. Oh, he doesn't know cakes well. He'll make a white cake. That's fine. He was going to talk to Noah. Now, Noah was having issues in the last part. And everybody, maybe he's just so social. Everybody wants to talk to him. Oh, oh, and Jonah's been flirty all day because that date they had last night or in the last part. Okay, these two are having a dramatic conversation. How are you doing? You're flirty because of your date. You are fine. We're going to bring Fiona back. We had her at the beach. I just want to check on her because she really had to go to the washroom. Oh, good. That's taken care of. She is inspired. I had her searching caves for stuff. And, oh, Argentina just became good friends with Noah. Where are you, kiddo? You're, oh, you're just playing on the computer, probably looking at cute little cat pictures. That's good. Why don't you play with pockets? Call them over. Oh, 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 there's the cake. Okay, let's get some birthday candles on it and give Argentina a birthday. Oh, I love this view. He is so chatty with everybody. He, at least he's in a better mood than he was last night. Because he was not feeling very good. Oh, there's pockets. Okay, Argentina, it's your birthday. What? Oh, the cat. They're angry at the cat. That's okay. Oh, let's celebrate. Make a wish. Argentina, you're no longer a young adult. So Jonah is quite a bit older than Argentina, but she is now an adult. And the cat screeching in the background, which is no surprise. Argentina aged up, adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crises await. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Oh, when I read that, I get sad. It's been like... It's gone too fast. I can't believe Argentina's an adult. Let's see, does she look very different? Oh, she looks a little different, but she's still our beautiful Argentina. Okay, why don't we call everyone to meal, have some cake. Call to meal, everyone's hungry. Oh, the cat's scratching everything, that's why. 
Enrique. Oh, you're going for cake. Then you got to play with the cat. And then we're going to zip ahead. Actually, it's 7 o'clock. Once they have their cake, I want the kids. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Where are you, Fiona? Here, have some cake. Take a piece. Because um, you are hungry. And then the, the teenagers are going to sneak out for Saturday night. But we're going to do it last night, except it was the curry festival. So teenagers are going to sneak out. And then I think I will actually zip ahead. And hopefully, mm, yeah, we might have time because I think the thing tonight that they're going to do is not going to take that long <laughs> oh and Paulo's Paulo's still around Paulo's still around one thing I did and it's a little it might be a little morbid I did put Poppy's grave in the backyard I tried putting Jonah's parents graves there too but when I placed them they disappeared and they're no longer in our inventory. So I was just glad we didn't lose Poppy. So there's a little corner back there. I'm not going to show it yet because I will go into build mode and decorate it a little bit. Yep, the family moves. Poppy's got to move too. Noah, Fiona, how are you guys doing? Oh, yeah. is somebody calling you? Juan Carlo is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. No, we're not going to Strangerville today. You know what? I think you're so flirty. Have a little woohoo with your husband. And uh, Fiona, are you done eating? Yep. Kids are going to go out. So I decided to send Fiona and Noah. I was going to call him Jonah again. Noah to the ancient ruins. Because I thought uh, what I wanted to do last time was for them to have a bit of a party. Who is Jonah talking to? <gasps> he is making a lot of friends with the ladies. Is she a teen? What is she wearing? Oh, yeah. It's also New Year's. So the kids are... Sneaking out to do a little New Year's. I'm going to get them to go here together. And they're going to have a little, you know, bonfire party. I should have got a stereo or something. But you know what? They're just going to invite their other teen friends over. And yeah, they're going to light a fire and have, some, uh, have a bit of a party. Okay, so I have them inviting all their teen friends over. And Noah's going to have fun because the only teens that they know are all girls. Noah's lucky. They're all girls. <laughs> they don't know a single teen guy to call and hang out. I think they're going to do the fire dance and they're going to have some fun. Um, it says that they're going to be over. I hope they actually come to the fire bonfire. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to get Fiona to light the fire and hopefully she doesn't catch fire she's not crazy about winter oh it looks like this girl is coming over i don't know who she is and whoop. okay so they got a cool bonfire going i think fiona should do a Oh, they could dance together. Oh, everybody's here. They're all going to dance together. Let's try this. I wonder if, God, 10 of them can do it. Oh, and Diamond Queen is the only one who isn't a teen. But I still, I'm still trying for Fiona and her to be friends. Okay, everyone's dancing but Noah. Uh, I don't think Noah's a dancer. but Or maybe he's just like, oh my God, they're all girls. They're all girls here. And trying to play it cool. Maybe. And that's fine. You know what we're going to do? Ooh, someone's doing the fire dance. Oh, it's Fiona. Okay, put yourself out. Put yourself out. You're fine. Okay, in the last part, she nearly froze to death. and this part, she's caught fire. I'm getting concerned. She might be a little bit accident prone. Okay, we don't need our characters catching fire. Someone has gone jogging. Oh, I am not getting good angle on this. Let's do a fire dance. Come on. Come on, Noah, you can do a fire dance. You're talking to her. She is cute, but she is an adult. So, oh, and a little kid's coming over. Who's this? Clark. I think all the queens are here. There was another teen that was named, last name Queen. And you know what? The two girls that stayed are Noah's friends from last time they were here. Masami and Felicia. Okay, they all kind of left. So Noah acquired the dance skill. I want to make sure he doesn't catch fire. But uh, he's having fun. I remember... His uncle, who he reminds me of a little bit, Juan Carlo, had a lot of fun doing the fire dance. So we will let Enrique enjoy this, but I think we are 
pushing the limits if he does it much longer. I think he did the fire dance to impress the girls, but they all kind of left. Nice try, though. There we go. Oh, yes, talk to Felicia. Where'd she go? She's the only one that stayed to watch you, Noah. Go chat with her. She might like you. Go brighten her day. Oh, whisper. Oh, he has a crush on her. Oh, give her a compliment. Okay, you are a bit of a comedian, though. Let's tell some jokes. Uh, throw New Year's Eve co confetti. Like, Happy New Year, Felicia. You're my friend. And where did Fiona get off to? What is she doing? Having a snowball fight? Okay, we'll come back to Noah. Oh, she's having a snowball fight with her <laughs> Brightener Day. Actually, I love this. I love this. I want you to get in with Diamond Queen, and you are having a blast. What is this over here? Oh, a wild rose bush. Okay, so the kids are out. It is late on a Saturday night. They plan on staying out late, too. Maybe, though. Ooh, maybe. Let's give her props. I want you to be friends. They are kind of friends. She doesn't know much about her, though. Maybe you should get to know her. Oh, don't show off an outfit. It's winter. <laughs> um, can you get to know her? Get to know. Get to know. And her little brother Clark Queen is walking around, and there was a, a teen, another girl with the last name Queen, who they invited. But I haven't quite seen her. Oh, there goes Felicia. Okay, these two are actually starting to become friends, which I like. I like a lot. Just going to check in with Noah. Noah's doing his homework. Buddy, buddy, you got to tell jokes. Felicia is over here. Some, well, no, it's a barren wasteland. Where did Felicia go? <gasps> there she is. I think she's building a snow pal. Help her with the, continue building the snow pal. And now she's shoveling snow. Okay, well, you can continue building the snow pal and talk to Felicia for a bit more because I think she likes you and you have a bit of a crush on her. I like that. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, this is cute. I like that. Fiona's running around for some reason, which is fine. We'll just get this snow pal done. See, I like this. This is what I wanted the kids to do. I wanted them to sneak out, have a bonfire party, because it is winter, kind of stay warm, and uh, just have some fun. And unfortunately, they're not worried about the time, because it is 12.15 now in the morning. So, I think they might be in a little bit of trouble. And we're not done yet. And is Fiona just chatting with everybody? Oh, yeah. I think the, this is a good friend core here. Um, oh, what did he do? All right. There's the snow pal. <laughs> what sort of internal angst is he bringing through in this snow pal? That's okay. That's okay. He's playful. Oh, he's going right to Felicia. Oh, yes. He likes her. That's okay. We like this. Oh, goof around. Maybe flash her the crazy eyes. That would be fun. I actually want to see him do the crazy eyes. Yeah, and Fiona's having a blast in the background there. Oh, no. Felicia left. Oh, well. Okay, I think the three of these, this trio, needs to go out and have a little bit more trouble before the day's over. All right, so the two kids have decided to hit the bar in San Miyajino. They are way too young, but they have snuck in. I'm going to get them changed into a better outfit because, oh, have we ever seen this? <gasps> we have not seen that. And we're going to get Fiona. This is her. Ooh, look at these outfits on these two. What's wrong with Fiona? Oh, she's not having fun. Okay, well, you know what? I think, oh my God, look at this outfit. There is a microphone back here. 
Noah should definitely, he's playful, he's playful. He got to talk to his crush quite a bit. He should tell jokes. And hopefully that will uh, cheer up um, Fiona as well. Oh, this is trouble. Here's Aunt Isabel. Her, their aunt is here. Oh no, they're caught. They are caught by their aunt. Ooh, and she's talking about all the furniture that Jonah took from her. But you know what? She's a kleptomaniac, and uh, what can you do? We had to uh, kind of cut her out of the family. So maybe she won't tell on the kids. Yeah, I don't think anybody's talking to uh, Jonah's sister anymore, so I think it's fine. Okay, Jonah's telling jokes. No one's really... Oh, Fiona, go support your brother. You're evil, but he's your brother. You can be evil to other people. All right, she's like, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Is her fun going up because of this? I hope so. I hope so. Oh, it still says it's going down. New Year's was awful. Jonah, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, they don't, oh, he's, she does not like those jokes he's telling. Oh my God, she's like, you're horrible. You know what, she's acting as a heckler to help him, help him deal with hecklers. But now he's kind of like, um, okay, you're hurting my feelings now. Tough sisterly love. What can you do? <laughs> what is she doing? Just says watch. Okay, she applauded him a little bit. Oh, and then heckled him. Let's see if this lady likes the show a little better. Okay, it is 2.30 in the morning. Okay. He's getting a little bit from Faye Harris, a little bit of um, uh, appreciation. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to end, not this part as the whole part. I'm going to end this night here. And what I am going to do is I am going to try to play ahead a little bit. I, I was thinking about it. And unless there's a birthday or some sort of major thing happening with the family, I have stuff I want to do behind the scenes. And... Uh, I think maybe by the end of this part, we'll be a few days ahead, and I think it'll be Enrique's birthday then. So we're going to leave these two. They're going to be in trouble. Definitely grounded, because they don't look like they're going home anytime soon, but we're going to leave this here. So I hate to say this in one way, but I also know it is long overdue. It is Paulo's time. In a couple of parts, he stopped eating right to the last minute and then brought himself back. He's had some close calls, so I decided that I would assist him. <laughs> it's really just an accident. I didn't get that involved. I know that might be wrong, but Paulo has outlived his wife Poppy by probably 80 or so years, and it's time. Poor Paulo is starving to death. I decided he would go over to Poppy's grave. Jonah's parents' graves suddenly appeared. Uh, when I tried placing them, they disappeared. So I will have to touch this up again. But it is Paulo's time. So this part is probably going to end on a bit of a sad note. But it's time. Oh, it still makes me sad. It still makes me sad. Paulo's passed away. Oh no, and it's gonna make the family sad. Oh, Pockets is back there crying. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, and here comes the family. Fiona doesn't seem to care that much. And Argentina's just having her cereal. They're like, we were well prepared for this. It's been a long time coming. And Grimm is just in the background there. He's sort of like, hey, you guys got a nice new place. Grim looks surprised at how old Paulo is. It's like, I think I messed up. I think I forgot about this guy.
There was a clerical error somewhere. This guy should not have lived this long. Please reap his soul. Please, let's move on. Let's move on. The girls are sad. Oh, there we go. Goodbye, Paulo. Goodbye. I'm sorry. Oh, and then everybody's just sort of back to their own thing. Okay, so we have Paulo's grave. We'll put it uh, back over here. And because Paulo's been around for so long, Argentina, are you, are you okay? You're okay. You're not, you're not having a lot of fun. But you know what? We are going to release um, Paulo's spirit to the netherworld. Um, we've seen him enough. We don't need his ghost coming around. And yeah, that's what the heck is going on here. Give him a funny introduction. Oh, everybody has to go to school and they're not going. That's okay, Grim Reaper's here. I think I'm gonna play a little bit more ahead. I think there's more time in this part. Um, as weird as it might be, don't go after. I saw you thinking about Enrique there. Don't go after Enrique. Okay, bye Grim. see you later. I think I am going to zip ahead a few days um, and, and try to age Enrique up. Um, there's definitely stuff I want to do with the characters, but I think it's time that all the teen, all of the kids are teenagers, because um, they're a lot more fun to play when they're teenagers. And um, this kiddo, I want to see what his other trade is. I mean, he's got the cat thing happening, but, uh, you know, let's see what's next for him. So I am going to zip ahead. So I thought... Since Paulo was, or he reached level 10 of the active um, aspiration, aspiration. I was going to say trait, but I'm sure he was level 10 of the fitness trait as well. Fitness, active, all kind of the same thing. And things I don't really understand. And I'm okay with that. Jonah was also an active sim, and he's in pretty good shape. But the rest of them are kind of getting a little pudgy. And I thought, what better way to sort of honor Paulo's long life was for them to like hit the gym because I think they kind of need to and when the kids came home from school I noticed they have a lot more teen friends so Fiona being a serial romantic um, I would like to invite some of the uh, male teens over here as well and Fiona's not in bad shape she's you know still looking pretty good so I'll get them all to work out and I'll get Fiona to meet some of the uh, uh, gentleman teens because I think she needs to go on a date or two she is that she does have that serial romantic trait so we still haven't played that at all yet because she's got a lot going on but Argentina definitely oh you already smell so hop on the treadmill work out um, Fiona, we're going to hold off on and, you know, Jonah, you just do whatever you want. And the kiddo here will do whatever he wants. I think they're in okay states. Uh, I'm just going to see who Fiona knows. If she has met any guy teenagers. <gasps> Genji. Oh, no, this isn't Genji. This is Oscar. Okay, invite to hang out. So the last teen hangout, it was just girls. So now we're just going to invite the guys. Okay, she only has one guy friend. But Noah here has met a few. So Oscar should be on his way. Uh, who else does he know? Here we go. Genji grew up. And I think Genji's a guy. I still don't know. Oh, we can't invite him? Travel? Is he already here? Oh, is that Genji here? Or is that Oscar? I can't tell. Oh, that's Oscar. Wow. Okay. We'll have to meet Genji another night. Can you... Oh, here. Invite Myron. Invite Bentley. And you can't invite Genji, can you? That's weird. Okay. That's fine. Fiona, what are you doing? You are... Oh, Uncle Comb is here. Great. Let's have a look for Genji. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Okay, Fiona. Oh, you're getting a drink of water. You need to meet Oscar. I think, oh, I think you should meet Oscar. Go um, ask him for advice. I guess she knows him. Oh, yeah, she met him at school. That's right. Okay, Fiona. There you go. Drink your water. Say hello to Oscar. He could be your first... Your first little romance. Oh, he's flirty too. Send, give him a flirt. 
She might be too sad. A gloomy compliment. Yeah, she's a little sad. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, Oscar is nice. Oh, that's nice. Complain about your problems. That'll help you get nuts. And he's showing her pictures. Oh, his hearts went up. What kind of romantic pictures were you showing her? Oh, well, she liked it. That's fine. Um, let's, oh, let's do something funny. Tell a joke about engineers. Oh, he's all like heartbroken. He's like leaning on her about a failed romance. Oh. Oh, we like Oscar. Even though he's heartbroken, he's trying to make Fiona feel better because she's sad. Oscar seems like a good guy. Oh, well, it's a pleasant conversation. Okay, oh. Okay, I mean, Fiona is not feeling that great, and we get that. And there's Noah in the background looking at himself in a mirror. He loves the way he looks. Diamond Queen, I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. Let's go get dinner at Sophia's dinner so we can talk about it. Ooh, another time. That would be great, but another time. We have plans. Oh, they're not getting along right now. Okay, let's see if the other guys are here and make sure. Oh, who's that? That's Bentley, and that is Myron. Okay. Here, why don't you go say hello to Bentley? Give him a friendly introduction. What does this guy look like? He's dancing. Okay, he's a little odd, but can we see him? There we go. Who is this? Oh, she's the trainer, Zimwani. Okay, come on, Fiona. You are a serial romantic. We haven't played that part of your character yet. Dance with him. There you go. That'll make you happy. Argentina. Who is this? Okay, that's a young adult. Oh, Noah's crying on the treadmill. Well, at least he's going for it. That's great. No pain, no gain. Oh, the Beatas are here. Okay. Looks good. Oh, Combs here. All right. Oh, Comb is talking to Oscar. He's like, what are your intentions with my niece? I would really like to know. He's like, I'm a neat guy. And he's like, okay, you know what? Marriage is a ball and chain. You don't want to marry my niece. Sounds good. How is Fiona doing? She's chatting up a storm here. Oh, he's playful. Um... Invite Bentley to dance. There you go. Bentley might be more your speed. And I don't know what Joan is doing. Let's check on the... I'm just going to quickly check on the needs. Okay, he's going to go sleep somewhere. That's fine. Oh, he's getting hungry. Argentina is doing A-OK. -okay. Fiona. Yeah, they're all doing OK. I mean, not great. And they're all probably going to need a bath. Where is this kiddo? Oh, he's a... Cur oh, my God. Nobody's kept an eye on him. Totally forgot about Enrique. I'd make a great parent. Oh my god. He's all by himself in the park. This poor little kid. Oh well. He's, you know what? Enrique's got his imagination. And he is not going to be a kid for much longer. I, I thought I'd get to it in this part. But you know what? We'll wait to the next part. It kind of added, ended on a bit of a sad note. Or this part. You know, even though. Paulo did pass away like 10 minutes ago. We should be over it by now. Um, it is going to end on a sad part. Where is Jonah? You know what I think, though? I think Argentina, can she be flirty? Or is she too tired? Oh, let's see. Oh, they could have tried for a baby in the shower here. Oh, well, we'll have to remember that. Uh, we don't need any more babies. No, nope, not in this family. But I think everybody's... Um, just about done here. I think they paid their homage to uh, Paulo, and we started Fiona on her serial romantic aspiration, which, like I said, we hadn't played before. And you know, it's time to play around with it a little bit. She's she's a teen. She's going to be a young adult soon, I'm sure. I haven't checked. I'm not going to. I'm just going to let that play out. And she really didn't have any romantic interests other than, well, I'm going to just leave my thoughts on some of the characters she does know. But I think this is where I'm going to end it. Sorry it ends on a bit of a sad note with Paulo passing on, but it was definitely his time. So thanks everybody for watching. Peace and love.